Hey guys, welcome back to a 2024 election prediction. I am using the right map this time. For this election, I have Karen McDougal against Joe Manchin, with Josh Hawley as McDougal's running mate and John Tester as Manchin's. This is a hard one because Senator Manchin and Senator Tester are Democrats, but right leaning Democrats. But Karen McDougal is not a politician, but Josh Hawley is a very right wing Republican. So to get the safe states out of the way, I'm going to go with Washington, Oregon, California, New York, basically most of the Northeast here. Now, these two guys, Manchin and Tester, are right-leaning Democrats who I think will have appeal in the Rust Belt. So we're going to make Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin likely for them. To get the safe Republican states out of the way, basically most of these states... Missouri, especially because it's Hawley's home state. Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, South Carolina. I'm going to make Minnesota also likely for the Democratic Party, just like the others. West Virginia will be won by the McDougal Hawley ticket. Yes, Joe Manchin is from here, but the state was very strong for Trump, and both of these two individuals have an association with Trump. McDougal's, I'm not going to get into, and Hawley with his objection to the election results. So, I think West Virginia will still be safe red, as will Montana. Arizona, I think, will be tilt red, and Georgia will be lean red, Georgia because of its new voting laws, and Arizona because, well, moderate Democrats do appeal here, such as Kirsten Sinema, but I see without Trump on the ticket, it will flip back to the GOP column. Colorado is a bit hard because of the liberals, but I don't see them really going for McDougal or Manchin, so I'm just going to categorize it as safe. Virginia, too, as well as New Mexico. Hawaii, I again forgot. Alaska, I think, is going to be likely for the GOP here. These, these guys, Joe Manchin, John Tester, may have some appeal as moderates, but I don't really see Democrats winning here anytime soon, even with it's bluer trend these days. I think Nevada will be lean blue. It doesn't really go along with waves that much. It's not really trending too far one way or the other. So I think this is a way to go. Texas, I'm going to put as lean red without Donald Trump on the ticket. Uh, its senatorial race this past election was better for the GOP than the presidential race, which shows that Trump's influence here has cost, or perhaps has the, how do I put this, potential to hurt Republicans in the future, but you know, for the sake of this election map, this will be in the GOP column. Iowa will probably be safe red. No, maybe likely red. Hawley is from the state next door, Missouri. But I don't really see that having much of an impact in a place like Illinois, which will also be safe red. I mean, blue, rather. Florida, I'm just going to put as likely for the GOP. The Florida Democratic Party is notoriously inept. And I think this will hurt them for a few elections to come. North Carolina, 
I'm not sure if these guys, Manchi and Tester, will appeal to the more liberal people there, but they will come out for McDougal and Hawley, so that so it is in the in the lean column. Ohio, I think, will be a pretty safe pickup, but I don't think it'll reach that 15-point threshold that, you know, for safe states. New Hampshire, I think, will only be tilt blue. I could see this state being very competitive. These guys do appeal to the white working class, but but I'm not really sure how perform without Donald Trump on the ballot. I think Maine's dis first district will be safe for the Democrat Party, but I think the Democrats will also be able to flip, uh oh, I'm sorry, also be able to flip the second district, Maine's second district. These guys do appeal to the white working class up there. It gets to Nebraska, most of the state is safe. But I think Manchin and Tester do have potential. I'm going to put it lean for Nebraska 2nd District. And in this election scenario, Joe Manchin becomes president and John Tester becomes vice president. They are hated by many of, of the people who elected them. They only elected them re reluctantly because they're Democrats. And they hate anything that has anything to do with Trump. But... So this is my map, and thanks for tuning in. I have the correct map this time. This may not be the most professionally done video, but yeah, subscribe anyway. See you next time.